everyone my name is jacob and today we are going to discuss the poem a life on the ocean wave by apes sergeant before we proceed with our poem let's know who was apes sergeant he was an american editor poet and playwright one day he was walking in a park near the harbor watching the ships enter the harbor this scene inspired him to write this poem so grab a pen and a notebook and let's discuss the first stanza a life on the ocean wave a home on the rolling deep where the scattered waters rave and the winds their revels keep like an eagle caged i pine on this dull unchanging shore oh give me the flashing brine the spray and the tempests roar the poet talks about his longing for the sea he wants his life in the middle of the ocean waves where the water collides and strikes the stones he wants to have a home on the sea where the scattered waters rave and the winds their revels keep so he wants a home where the water and the wind are noisily and freely moving in an enthusiastic way it seems like there is a celebration going on like an eagle caged i pine on this dull unchanging shore it means that the speaker feels like a caged eagle that is unable to soar into the skies he says that the shore is dull it's unchanging and he finds himself bounded earth is no more a happy place for him give me the flashing brine the spray and the tempests roar it means that the speaker longs for the spray of sea water and stormy winds also the way the water collides or strikes the stones once more on the deck i stand of my own swift gliding craft set sail farewell to the land the gale follows fair abaft we shoot through the sparkling foam like an ocean bird set free like the ocean bird our home we'll find far out on the sea so in the first two lines of the second stanza the speaker says that he stands on the deck of his fast sailing or moving ship set sail farewell to the land the gale follows fair abaft it means that the speaker says let's begin our sail and say bye to the land the gale follows fair abaft means that he feels the burst of wind or strong wind behind the ship as it moves into the vast expanse of water we shoot through the sparkling foam like an ocean bird set free it means that he is sailing through that foam which is produced by the waves he also compares himself with a bird who sets itself free so the speaker is also free from the land like an ocean bird our home will find far out on the sea he says the way ocean bird after setting itself free looks for a home same way he will also find a home on the sea as he longs for it if you are able to understand the poem click on the like button and subscribe to my channel the land is no longer in view the clouds have begun to frown but with a stout vessel and crew we'll say let the storm come down and the song of our hearts shall be while the winds and the waters rave a home on the rolling sea a life on the ocean wave the speaker says as the ship moves away land vanishes it is no longer visible and they are surrounded by sea all around he sees the clouds moving in and showing displeasure it means or it shows that a storm can be there but with a stout vessel and crew we'll say let the storm come down 
it means that he is ready to face all the challenges he challenges these heavily laden clouds to open up because his ship as well as his crew are strong enough to hold against any storm and the song of our hearts shall be while the winds and the waters rave a home on the rolling sea a life on the ocean wave he says when these clouds would open up and the water as well as wind would rage freely and noisily he would say in a cheerful mood that he now stands where he belongs that is on the ocean wave let's do a quick recap of what we have learned today the poem talks about the speaker's longing for the sea he pines for the raging waters of the ocean where winds rage freely and noisily land does not interest him and he feels like a caged eagle that is unable to soar into the skies he longs for the spray of sea water and the stormy winds as he stands on the deck of his fast sailing ship he feels the burst of wind behind the ship as it moves into the vast expanse of water that he calls home as the ship moves away land vanishes from sight and he is surrounded by sea all around he sees the clouds moving in threateningly but he challenges these heavily laden clouds to open up because his ship as well as his crew members are strong enough to hold against any storm the poem ends with the speaker in a cheerful mood as he now stands where he belongs that is on the ocean wave if you were able to understand the poem like it mention in the comments share it with your friends and make sure to subscribe to my channel thank you and have a good day ahead